Okay, everybody, I pulled up. I just pulled out three SOG knives that are full tank, okay? And what happened was, this happened twice. It's kind of strange. It happened twice this week. Uh, on my short videos, of course, they're going to watch the short video. Maybe one will watch the long video, but usually they're short videos. This is in regard of hidden tank versus uh, full tank. Okay, what it was, I described the knife. I don't know which knife it was. I thought it might have been on the short for the seal strike, which surprised me. I'll show you that. And then I got the seal pup. Full tang, full tang, full tang. This is the SOG puller. Okay, so I talked to uh, the most knowledgeable person I know with SOG knives. Uh, collector and the history of SOG and I talked to a knife expert and I've written down notes to answer the question on this because it, what gets me is I'm, I'm doing the specs when I show a knife I go by the manufacturer or the website uh, the manufacturer I'll, if I can I'll go straight to SOG and this is their specs you know what I mean and I'll read them off so if I say it's full tang, it's full tang. Because that's what they're telling me. They're full tang. One person said if he can't see it, he doesn't believe it, doesn't trust it. Well, sorry about that. So, I got a little notes here. It's hidden tang versus full tang. Uh, full tang, you can see. It has, uh, you can see. That's just it. Here's the pillar. This is not a cheap knife right here either. So that makes you feel better too if you think paying a lot of money. You pay a lot of money. This, this is a fantastic knife. It's USA made. Okay. There's the full tang. You see it all the way through. So that is a full tang. You can see it. Okay. This is a full tang. Now I would consider this partially hidden because you can see the back end of it coming out of the uh, handle. Okay, this is a SOG seal strike. I still think this was the video. This is full tang all the way through. It's just embedded into the handle material. That's what a hidden tang, the steel is embedded into a hidden material. Okay, now the one that has been around, it's historical. Because back in the days, the seals did use it. It's the SOG seal pup. Okay? I have a collection of seal pups, by the way. I have the second Japan, and I have the Aus 8, the Taiwan, and uh, this is just historical. It's a fantastic knife. You can still get them now. They're around the 50, 60 bucks mark. This is a hidden tang. The way it's described in the specs, and the way I do it on my shorts, full tank. You could look real close if you want to get your magnifying glass and a light, and you'll see a little bit of the metal there. But this is a full tang. Now, this is what I thought was interesting. This was brought up when I was talking to the person, so I kind of wrote it down. A well-hidden tang. I'm going, to, I'm going to talk about this. I'm going to hold this one up, because this has been around before time. This is the SOG Silp Up. A well-hidden tang has extremely sufficient strength and arguably has the potential, I said possibly, has the potential, arguably has the potential to be stronger. So what they're saying, you got your full tang, you know, you're still going all the way through it, and then it's injected, it's molded, it's surrounded with the handle. It makes sense to me. Okay. That's one of my videos for today. That's uh, one of the things that came up this week. And I wanted to uh, kind of bring it up. These are fantastic knives, by the way. This is the SOG Pillar. The, the Seal Pup. And the SOG Seal Strike. Alright, SOG out.